Hey everybody, I'm answering a question today that was asked of me. It's a good question. The question is, what do I do if there are conflicting mindsets on my team? It's a great question. And uh, I got to start at the beginning here. When you ask that question of me, you are thinking that your mindset is right. It's the right one. Yeah. So first of all, we need to make sure that ours is the right one. Is the mindset that we hold, is the perspective that we hold, or the belief, is the belief set that we hold uh, consistent with the success that we seek? Will it allow us to reach the goals that we want to reach? Does it make us healthy and happy? So make sure ours is right before we try to change someone else's. And the other thing is we're using the word conflicting in this question, which means that we must make sure, number two, that we realize that if theirs is really different than ours. So you ask the question because you think yours is right, and you ask the question because you think theirs is different, so let's make sure of both of those. Let's make sure that your, yours is really right. And let's make sure theirs is really different. And then we must understand theirs at a deeper level, which means that we must have a conversation with them to understand their mindset, their belief set, their perspective, and why they have it. See, here's the thing. If we go into that with the, I got to change them, I got to fix them, I've got to change their mindset, it's not going to be very successful. We want to make sure that we understand theirs, which means it might not be as different than we think. And secondly, once we get the chance to understand it and why they share, why they have it, we're in a better position to influence them, are we not? And that's really what the heart of this question is. How can, I mean, the question you didn't ask or that wasn't asked is how can I influence someone to have a different mindset perhaps than the one they have today? So once I understand what theirs is, I need to understand their perspective and their goals. Notice what I said to you very quickly early on, is yours right? Does your mindset support you reaching your goals? So that's kind of the conversational question that you want to get to with the other person is the mindset that they have it's consistent with them reaching the goals that they have. And if they see a gap, then they're in the, they're in the place where they might make a shift. Now in another video in this Encore series, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to help someone make that shift. But this is the first place you've got to understand what their goals and perspectives are so that you can make that happen. Now, if you're asking this question, and I believe this question was asked of me because it was related to leading. Like people's mindset about leadership is different than mine. If it is, if their mindset issues that you're trying to, or would like to have them see differently are about leading, then try to move people to a longer term future view and to an investment view rather than what do we got to do today that maybe is going to get us return today or not. So um, when, whether you're helping people change their mindset about leadership development for themselves or for others, it needs to have a longer term view and an investment view to have a better chance of success. All right. That also hints at another uh, upcoming video in this Encore series. Um, all of this that I've just shared with you, as I already said, is about influence and influence is a part. It's part and parcel of leadership, which is what we do each month in our Remarkable Way learning process. And you can learn more about the Remarkable Way learning process and how you can change your mindset and improve your mindset and change just the skills that go with that mindset by going to kevineikenberry.com forward slash the way. Hope you'll join us there. I'll be back with more of this Encore series soon.